Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. If you see me first time, if you don't know me, you can call me Brikida and um, I'm gonna show you in this episode how my life looks like as an Emirates flight attendant. This month I had an amazing um, experience I already finished my reserve month and I want to show you how it looks like. How we have to deal with our lives when we have no idea where we're gonna go or what we're gonna do on how or how is our life gonna be looking this month because we have no rosters. This is a special, very special month and it happens to each one of us around once a year where you just get your roster and it's written reserve that means that basically you have to check your roster every day and you have to see if there's any updates so my reserve started on 12th and finishes on 11th and then uh, i'm having another regular roster so I'm already after the last reserve flight and I've been recording all the layovers, all the situations that happened to me throughout this uh, reserve month and I hope you like it. You're gonna have a little um, journey with me throughout the unexpected destinations. So you know, you can get pretty nice flights, not always people are able to make it even for the nicest destinations. The other thing is that on reserve you have to check your roster every day at 6, until 6 it has to change for the next day. So you're aware how your next day is gonna look like. So yeah, are you guys excited? good morning because it's 5 a.m. I'm actually on standby from 3 a.m. home standby so I was able to sleep but you're not really sleeping because you have to be constantly aware and checking your roster constantly because the flight can be there any minute so I was just like constantly checking waking up I'm pretty tired because you cannot really fully sleep and I just got the flight and it's gonna be a very long flight uh, it's gonna be a multi-sector flight that means I'm gonna go from Dubai to Milan from Milan to New York from New York again to Milan and then back to Dubai so the whole trip takes five days uh, so it's gonna be a pretty pretty intense flight um, I'll need to get ready because I have to be at the airport in two hours so they give me just two hours to prepare myself I'm slowly waking up, I'm gonna have my coffee and see you in Milan or New York because I'm betting in Milan I'm gonna be so tired. I do not have really a big plans for this trip as I've been so many times to New York already and I feel like I've seen everything but I didn't. Uh, there's always something to do in New York and uh, yeah that's what I love about the city so for sure I'm gonna have fun the only thing that I don't really know if it's that cold because the whole New York is pretty dark because of the high buildings and it feels really dark but maybe it's not that cold so let's see how it's gonna go I ended up all black today
I was so lucky that on the other flight was my friend so we happen to have the same layover yes we do have many flights to new york per day and we decided to go to roosevelt island that was once a prison known from chicken pox diseases and now it is a residential area and you can have a beautiful skyline of new york from there and we had an amazing chill relaxing day here is my machko we are in the Roosevelt uh, Island. Maćka, tell me something what you learned. Very important sentence. In Polish? In Polish. This Genada. is... <laughs> what about the other one? <laughs> ja sem taki napalone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, after nine hours flight, I'm still fresh. No, actually I'm not. It was a sleepless night. I'm tired. It's 4 p.m. here. It was a nine hour flight from New York to Milan and it was really tiring, but we made it and it's it's nice here. Weather in Milan, it's, I can't believe it's the end of the October. It's just, the weather is so cool, sunny. I think I'm gonna even wear like a um, shorts or something and a blazer. And we are planning to go to Lake Como, as in the previous sector, I was just so dead and tired after standby, I just slept in here, I didn't even move from my hotel room, except for pizza delivery. Okay, so finally, after five, six days, we are going to be back in Dubai. <laughs> I'm honestly so happy. This flight was so long. I feel like I'm on the two weeks, you know, two weeks uh, trip with these guys. Uh, and uh, see you in Dubai then. <sighs> glamorous side of working my job. This is my face, my hairstyle. I am not to even mention that it's oh one real. <coughs> so I that was I slept from midnight and I still managed to wake up at 12 pm. And what's your superpower? Um yeah so I'm having my two days of not even mention that my face, as we are able to use the red lipstick again, I still have the red lips, you know, I try to remove it every possible way. I'm gonna probably have it the whole day, I'll try it in, like, in a couple of hours, but it's not possible to remove it. Hiya. Um, it's 9 a.m. I woke up. I'm from um, 6 a.m. already three hours on home standby, so I'm still waiting for any flight of coming, but I'm pretty sure I will get it as I was four days at home. I was having four days off, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna give me something, but you'll never know. Uh, so let's hope for some nice one. Let's hope for um, Spain. Let's hope for Africa. Let's hope for Bangkok. Uh, fingers crossed. And I'm gonna prepare myself a breakfast. They usually let me know around two hours in advance before the um, before the time I have to be at the airport. So it's pretty. It's still possible to like get ready, eat something, 
and so on and so forth. And plus, I'm so lucky because I'm living just very close by the airport, so yeah. I'm gonna prepare breakfast now and because I still have my, my delicious, delicious burrata from Italy, I just love it. These are the only ingredients I'm gonna need. Salad, tomatoes, burrata, olive oil and capri. Bit of uh, balsamic. Oh my god! I think this is the best dish in the whole planet. Oh my god! Mm. Let me check if something changed. Chorizos, um, what else? Chorizos, churros, uh, hola, señor. <laughs> I'm so happy, so I'm gonna have it in two hours. So I finish, I get ready, and see you in Madrid. Oh, lucky day! Oh, lucky day! Buenos dias, I'm in Madrid, si si, Hello from Madrid, uh, in front of me there is a royal palace and a crowd of people and imagine I found such a peaceful spot overlooking this beautiful palace and crowds of people. I did the walking tour, first time in my life and I swear it's an amazing, amazing uh, way of discovering new cities. Basically, have two hours to walk around the city, and the tour guy explain you everything about it uh, in such a you know uh, condensed knowledge. You have basically two hours of uh, history lessons in a very easy words that makes it easy to remember. And for me, it was the perfect start of the day. Now I'm gonna just look for churros, and that's gonna be it. It's supposed to be raining. So imagine how much good luck I had this time. I got the magic flight and now it's uh, sunny instead of raining. The whole crew went yesterday to have a drink just because they were saying, oh, today it's going to be raining the whole day. Beautiful weather, sun is shining, I couldn't be happier. So I'm going to get now some churros and that's going to be it. I'll head to Zara because obviously you got to go to Zara when you're in Spain. Spain, sorry, Spain, and that's it. Hi guys, so I had another four days off after Madrid flight and I was supposed to uh, start my standby, home standby at 8 and which is now and basically 10 minutes ago I already found out that I have a duty. So I'm gonna go to Dallas to another US destination and I have to be at the airport in a couple of hours. So I'll better get ready and see you in Dallas. Hello, glamorous after 16 hours flight. Well, this flight was not so um, easy busy. So I'm pretty dead. As you might see, yeah, from my face, it's not flawless anymore. Uh, I'm going to sleep. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't have any plan. I'm gonna stay here two days. <laughs> see you. Welcome, this is how looks the person that slept 12 hours and has a headache. Um, I just landed in Dallas. Um, I don't know, I think I've said it already. <laughs> I 
the weather is very bad, it's raining, so I don't think we're gonna go anywhere. One more thing I wanted to ask for you. I ordered from Walmart some stuff. And I'm a big fan of popcorn. And I swear, like I eat every amount of popcorn in this world because I love it so much. But in the US they just destroyed everything. They just destroy everything because the amount of calories, the amount of fat, the amount of sugar in everything is just so overwhelming for a person who is not raised here, who is not used to this. So I remember when I bought from US a porridge, you know, like a maple syrup porridge, simple thing, it was so sweet, I couldn't eat it. I have still a bunch of uh, this porridge in my apartment. And now I bought this popcorn. Okay, I ate it, but it's not because I love it, it was because I'm hungry. This popcorn is so buttery that it's literally melting in this butter. And uh, when I check the calories, this box has like 600 calories. This box of popcorn, imagine. I've never eaten in my life such a oily, buttery popcorn. God knows what else is there. I do not have any doubts why you really able to be big very fast in here in the US because come on we don't have this stuff like we I never had the popcorn like that anyways <laughs> this is long story short what I'm gonna do here nothing nothing just nothing I'm gonna edit some videos that's it guys I'm gonna do nothing here nothing here nothing 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 I'm gonna just stay in my room Eat breakfast, eat sleep, eat sleep, eat sleep, go to the gym. That's it. Hi, I was just chilling at the sofa and relaxing myself. I had a lot of days off again. Um, I think four days off after the last flight. So every day I was checking my roster at 6 p.m. and it was another day off and another day off and another day off and finally I got the flight. I was thinking that I'm not gonna get another US because I already had kind of two but here we are I'm going to Miami I think it would be easier if they just give me a passport because it's gonna be just easier for them my flight is after midnight so i have to be at the airport at 2 so i'm gonna get ready and see you in miami hi do you see that of course i'm in miami we have a hotel in Miami Beach and we have a 56 hours layover. Can you believe this? It's like three days, almost like two and a half days. And even though I'm a little bit jet lagged, of course, I can't believe how beautiful is it here and such a paradise. So, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this layover. And I'm so glad that I was pulled out even though I wasn't so happy at the beginning when I saw a 30 US flight in my roster. This destination is a dream. To sum up this reserve, I had four flights, including one multi-sector, three US flights, two European destinations, and three destinations that were my first time. And lots of days off. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.